Hey friends, welcome to my channel, Heidi Sambo Home. I decided to do a last minute decorate with me video where I'm showing all of our 4th of July home decor. Now I almost did not decorate for 4th of July this year because we came down with a cold and we've been really busy, but I just feel like with everything that happened last year, we needed to decorate. And so I sucked it up and pulled out all of my decor and had so much fun. I'm so glad that I ended up doing it, which is the reason why I'm sharing this so close to it being 4th of July. I just thought that it would be such a fun way to help our family be really excited for this coming holiday to celebrate our country's independence. Now, I have a couple fun things I wanted to share that I haven't done before and I've been holding on to them wanting to decorate with them, which are these flag draped, I forget what these things are called, but there's a flag where they scallop underneath a window. I found them on Amazon and I love them. They actually were a really good price for them. I'll link them down below. It's probably too late for you to want to purchase them for this year, but maybe next year. Like I said, I purchased them a while back and I've just been holding on to them and I love them. Now I put mine up with zip ties and with the 3M sticky hooks, I just made sure the brick was cleaned and then we stuck them on. Then at my front door, I had this really cute buffalo check rug that I found. I'm gonna try to link everything down below that I found. And then the kite on the wreath, I actually DIY'd that. I'll share a link for that a little bit later. But here is all of the outside decor all close up. And now we're gonna head inside to my living room to see how we decorated in there. I went ahead and put on the Disney 4th of July firework show, which is just so amazing. It is a really great performance if you get a chance to go to Disneyland for 4th of July. Inside the living room, I went very patriotic, red, white, and blue. I have a lot of neutrals in my home so that I can switch out all of the different colors throughout every different season. I love color. I love decorating with color. So I make sure to have neutral colored walls and neutral colored furniture so that I can switch out and use whatever colors I want. Up on our TV mantle area, I decorated with some of my DIYs that I had made, which are these houses and this flag tray, and then some other things I've just been collecting over the years, like this darling truck that I just love so much. Then up above on our cabinets, I just put a couple simple decors up there and then a little bit of touches of red, white, and blue. Over on the couch, I will link all of the pillows that I purchased from Amazon. The flag pillow actually came from Home Goods, but the other three red, white, and blue pillows, those all came from Amazon. This firework was definitely a DIY that I did and there's a free printable that goes with it. I actually have a video where there are 30 American Dollar Tree DIY crafts and then the free printables are linked in that video. I will link that video at the end and down below in my description box so you can find it if you want to see how I did some of these crafts. When it comes to holidays like the 4th of July, because I have teens and a little girl, I really like to go whimsical for these types of holidays. I want our kids to feel like it's special and magical. So I did go a little bit over the top and I know some people are not into this much decor, but for me personally, I want my kids to remember these holidays and knowing that mom loved decorating for them and just, it brings so many fun memories. I remember my mom doing stuff like this for me when I was a kid and I just enjoyed it so much. Now. 
Now, a funny thing, I picked this basket, this round basket up from Home Goods, and I was planning on using it to catch mail. I put it here about a month or two ago, right after spring, and our cat Comet fell in love with it. It is his favorite place to sleep and take a nap. Now, he is not the lightest cat. He's quite chubby, <laughs> so when he crams his chubby cat body in there, we all just think it is the greatest thing ever. The best part is it's got little handles so you can kind of pick him up and put him on your lap while he's in the basket. We, we just adore him so much. <laughs> and I just think it's so funny that he's decided that that is his basket. And so it just is probably going to stay there all summer because he loves it so much. One of the fun things we had done in our home recently, we actually just had the front door replaced as well as the garage door. And I'll have a video coming soon of that whole process, but we got a brand new door and I'm so excited to be able to share that with you soon. Now let's move into the office. I think the office is one of my favorite places to decorate other than our sofa with pillows. I have decor shelves that are above our piano and I just had such a fun time bringing in all of the DIYs I've been making over on my craft channel. And then I found these adorable pinwheel circles over on Amazon. You definitely could make them if you have scrapbook paper on hand but I just decided to purchase them because dollar for dollar, it actually ends up being cheaper just doing it with the Amazon kit versus trying to buy all the scrapbook paper that you would need to make these larger circles. So I put some up in the entryway going into our office and then I also put some up on my pin board. I just thought it was so fun and so whimsical. I know I've said this here before, but I'll say it again. I just like a clean desk. So I usually try to keep as very little on my desk as possible. So you see that I've got my speakers and I've got the little tray that is holding some flowers and a little boat. But other than that, I really do try to keep things on my desk that are very simple because I just like a clean workspace. It drives me crazy when things are bumping my arms. And then back over to the entryway into the office. These are the beads that I picked up from Amazon for Christmas time. And that's one of the fun things about home decor. If you have colors from different seasons, don't ever be afraid to pull out things from past seasons like Christmas, like these bead garlands that I had. And I just brought them all together to create a really pretty entryway into the office. Then on the decor shelves, this little banner, I actually DIY that with just a bunch of scraps and some twine. It was so easy to make. It's in the video that I'm going to link at the very end of this video. And I just swagged that back and forth on the bottom shelf for the decor shelves. And then up on the top, I put a lot of my bigger things that I've made. A lot of these supplies for these DIYs have all come from the Dollar Tree. It was so fun making all of these and customizing my own decor. I really like doing that because you save so much money. Like for instance, these books, those were books from the Dollar Tree and I was just looking for covers that were red, white, and blue. And then I brought them all together with some twine. This Buffalo charger plate came from Hobby Lobby. I picked that up because I love that it was red and white Buffalo check and I just tucked that behind the wagon. And then here's my Uncle Sam. He was made out of a bunch of different gift boxes. I thought it would be so darling to make a tall stacking Uncle Sam. And I just think he's just the funniest little thing. I'm so excited because we have finally started working on our hardwood floors. You can actually see the boxes over there to the left. There are our new flooring over there and we're getting ready to redo all the floors in the kitchen, in the hallway, in the living room, everything. I'm really looking forward to doing that, especially because we just finished all the floors in the basement. My next video here on my channel will be the reveal and how we did our floors in the basement. Now let's move over to the kitchen. I really do keep it simple in here as much as I can because our kitchen is not a very big space and it works for our family. But I like to just put a couple things up on my shelves, my open shelves. 
And yes, this is all of our dishes. I get asked all the time. I'm a minimalist when it comes to our kitchen supplies. I just figure the more you have, the more of the mess it makes. Since our space is small, I like to try to keep things as clean and clear as possible. Now, I thought it would be so fun to share our treat tiered tray that we're going to be making and Miriam is going to be my little assistant. She was so excited to help me do this job. So I've got this tiered tray and I will link that down below in my description box. Everything you see in this video, if I can link it, I'll try to link it. But basically she's going to help me first put down some napkins to make sure that you know nothing stains the white paint on the tray and also keeps the treats nice and fresh and clean. And then we're just going to stack on a whole bunch of red, white, and blue treats. A couple treats to point out that are really great for that are Kit Kats, Crunch Bars, white Tootsie Rolls, and then right now Hostess Cupcakes, like those kind of things. They're all 4th of July themed right now. If you go to the store, you'll find them where they're all red, white, and blue. Twinkies, those are red, white, and blue. And then the Hershey's Oreos have a blue foil tent wrapper on it so that's a really good one to use and then sixlets always come in fun colors so I'm just going to put the sixlets inside these cute little jars that I got from the Target dollar spot a couple years back one says stars one says stripes by the way you're gonna see Miriam sneaking treats the whole time she kept saying can I try this one can I try that one can I try this one and I I was fine with it because we try to limit how many treats she gets and I just thought it would be fun to let her try things. Another one that we put on were gold coins. I picked these ones up from Walmart in their cake decorating section. They had a big bag of them and I thought that would be really cute to add in that gold for the coins as well as these cookies and we're going to be using the red ones on the bottom. The blue ones I save those for later on another day because we already have enough treats on here as is. Now if you haven't been over on Instagram you will not know that Miriam actually broke her arm about a month and a half ago. She had a really bad fracture right above her elbow. She keeps favoring it. You can actually see her touching it over there to the left and she just got her cast off about a week ago so it was one of the other things I wanted to do this fun thing with her because it has been a really rough beginning to summer with her not being able to get in the pool but now that it's off the doctor told her that she needs to get good exercise by going to the pool which that just made her smile all right and here is the tray all finished all red white and blue and we just are going to leave this out all weekend going into the 4th of July. And I let people pick treats as they do good deeds around the house or after dinner, they can pick treats. And when we have people come over, they can pick from it too. It's just a fun way to be able to get them excited for the holiday, even before the fireworks begin. Friends, thank you so much for stopping by today for this real quick 4th of July decor tour. I hope you feel inspired that if you haven't decorated, maybe don't go all out like I did, but maybe just pull out a couple of flags and some red, white, and blue pillows if you have them on hand. It's never too late to feel that pride of our country. I'm just so excited to be able to celebrate this holiday with family and friends. And I'm going to link this video down below as well as some other videos maybe you might be interested in here on my channel. Thanks so much for stopping by. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and until the next episode, bye friends.